You need to ask the Holy Ghost, the Christ, to reveal to you the hidden meaning, the hidden meaning. That's, that's when that we see in, in, chap in chapter 3, like a, a verse 20, after Eve did hit the fruit and he gave his, he gave a husband, sorry, and Adam to eat, we, we see Adam does call in the book, of the, in the Genesis chapter 3, verse 20, he called his wife Eve. Here, Dr. Dr. William, we first to understand another thing here. Adam is the one who calls Eve, who calls, who calls the woman Eve, not God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, hi. Because all truth, which is confusing uh, um, scholars like this, is that we see all truth within Adam and his generations in the chapter 5. Oh, my God. Chapter 5, book of Genesis, verse 1 and verse 2. And these are generations of of Adam, on, and on the day God created them, He created them, He created them, you see, male and female, <laughs> hallelujah, and He called them Adam, what does this tell you? Adam and Eve are one body, so their name is Adam. There's no Adam and Eve, it's Adam who separates Adam, Adam and calls Eve, calls the woman Eve. Uh, because uh, because when we go to uh, the, the second chapter of the book of Genesis, we see Adam is saying, uh, starting verse 22, when God g gave him a deep sleep, he does, he does remove one of the rims of uh, Adam and he created the woman. He is saying, she is born over my bones and, and she shall call a woman. And then... Um, a man shall leave his father and mother, and he shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one body. That's why I'm taking you to this book of Genesis chapter 5. God called, God called them Adam. They are one, one. They cannot be separated. But it's man, Adam, who separates Adam by calling the woman Eve. And... Uh, in this understanding, Dr. William Washington, he misses the point where he, he, he thought in the, in, the, in, the, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, starting verse 26 to 30, where God, he created them in his image. He, he is down there thinking it's another generation. They are the same Adam. They're the same Adam and Eve. Because the proof is the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 1 to 2. God, he created them and he called them Adam. Male and female, in his likeness, in his image. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> Holy Scripture is sweet when God of Israel, the Holy God, favors you with the knowledge of his Scripture. It, it just flows in happiness, glorifying his own holiness. Say, who can be likened unto our God? None than thee. You created all these things of all of us. You can see all this creation of God. And the mountains, we say, is holy, holy, for even, even. And we will never have any other God than thee. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Lord, my God. I'm repeating again. Scholars like uh, William Washington, they miss the point. <laughs> when he reads the, the, book of, the, the, the book of Genesis chapter 1, where let's create our man in our, in our own image, he's saying this is another generation. But he fails to understand in the book of Genesis chapter 2. Here we are given details. The, the first chapter, a man was created, but now we see a man, a man was created on the sixth day. We, 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 see, we see God ending his work on the seventh day. We, we, we see seventh day God resting. We, we, we see this man was created out of the dust. We see in the second chapter, this man is taken to a limited holy place called Garden of Eden. And, uh, that, and this is not another generation. And uh, now they say, in the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 16, that we see uh, Cain, after killing his brother Abel, he does, uh, he, do, he does leave the presence of God and he goes to leave the land of Nod. And he married in that land. Now they try to, to say, to come up, 
then there were people living in that land of Nod because Cain left. So there were people who were waiting for him in that place because he does take away from that place. He doesn't understand again. I repeat again. We go back to the book of Genesis chapter 5 verse 2. And God after creating Male and female, he called them Adam, one name. When Cain leaves the princess of God to go to the land of Nod, he is going with his wife. There was nobody in the land of Nod. Hallelujah. Scripture is not a storybook. Oh, hallelujah. It's not a storybook. There was nobody in the land of Nod. He should understand one thing, this Dr. William. Scripture is not a storybook. That's why I repeat again. And that's why you must ask Christ for, for knowledge of this scripture. You cannot just come up with your own words and say you understand this, this, like this. You'll get confused to yourself. Oh, God, your holy God who lives in Zion, and I glorify you forever. That's why Cain left with his wife at the same land. When the Bible says he left the presence of God, it means he left the holy land. And he, go, he does go further east where we see in history, mankind, even historian, they prove to us that mankind or everything started around Mesopotamia. But the presence of God is where we see is the holy land today, even around the nation of Israel. That's where Cain left and he, he went far away from from, from what we can say in truth, his brethren and his sisters, even now we can say sons and daughters of um, Adam and Eve. And there was no any other generation. When they say Cain left, he left with his wife. Because they are, they, are, they are one body, that's what we call Cain. We don't say Cain and his wife. We say one, they are, they are, they are one body. <laughs> God created them and he called them Adam but it's a man, man Adam who separates the female from male because he does call the woman Eve, you now they become two but the God says when he creates them they are one, Adam Hallelujah, scripture will never be a book. thank you Christ, thank you for thy mercies, thank you for thy kindness thank you for this day, Lord God Father, you bless me in this knowledge I say you are the only God to be praised for even and even. Thank you, Christ. Guide me, feed me, walk me. Oh, um, hallelujah. Then I know this word, the, the person will listen and the person will be blessed, Father. Um, God, I shall be grateful to thy holiness. And therefore, for those who haven't received Christ, know for sure there's no any other savior of this world. Even the Lord who forgives our sins, come to Christ. Repent thy sins, observe the commandments of the Lord Christ, undergo baptism, and come, we wait for his second coming, and when he comes, he shall give us eternal life. Hallelujah. Father, remembering Christians, Lord, Father, who are um, and a worshiping team, even following thy commandments, Lord, those who are sick, heal them. Those who are in temptation, Father, oh Lord, Father, be their leader, oh Lord. Send the Holy Spirit and rescue even Christians who are under persecution. Because you are King of kings, you are Lord of lords. And beside thee, there's no other God than thee. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, oh my God. There are Christians with various problems, Father, and oh Lord, Father, visit them and give them breakthrough saying you are holy of all this father thank you christ may you be glorified even and always oh father as we, we await for thy second coming we say glory unto thee glory unto the christ even the king of kings the creator of heaven and earth thank you christ thank you for blessing me for walking with me for being me oh lord who can be like unto thee none than thee than lord god who lives in zion i glorify thee say Holy is thee. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for this day. Hallelujah.